the ATtiny85 is a great little microcontroller. With 8K of flash and 6 IOs in a DIP or SO8 package, it is perfect for super compact projects. So why are we not using the ATtiny85 more? Because it's very cheap. And also it's very compact. But it does not offer USB programming like our trusty Arduino boards, like the Uno or the Nano. Would it not be great to have the best of both worlds? A mini sized cheap ATtiny85 that can be programmed via USB just like our Arduino boards? In this video I will show how to make this dream come true. We will build an ISP programmer with an Arduino. Then we add the ATtiny to our trusty Arduino IDE. Then the key point, we burn a USB ready bootloader in the ATtiny85. A bootloader is a small piece of software that helps the MCU to communicate with the Arduino IDE. Then we calibrate the bootloader. The ATtiny uses an internal RC oscillator which is not accurate enough for the serial communication. The bootloader has a calibration function to solve this. Then we upload a simple sketch to the ATtiny to see how it works. For this project you will need the following. First of course an ATtiny85. Then you will need an Arduino. In this project I will use an Arduino Nano. Then you need an FTDI USB to serial converter. Some wires and prototyping board. And some small components like an LED, 10K resistors, 330 ohm resistors, 100 nanofarad cap and a 10 microfarad E cap. To burn the bootloader we will need an in-system programmer. You can buy programmers like this, but if you have an Arduino you can also build one yourself as here in the schematic. Please connect all the parts as indicated in the schematic and check the connections very well when you're finished. After you build everything up, connect the Arduino Nano to your PC and start the Arduino IDE. It's important not to place the 10 microfarad ECAP now. Then you go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP and select this sketch. Now we upload this sketch into the Arduino. After you upload it, you see that the LED fades on and off. This is the programmer's heartbeat, indicating that the programmer is ready to go. Now we can place the ECAP. The ECAP is now placed, so we are ready to use the programmer. Now we will add the ATtiny to the Arduino IDE. Go to File, Preferences, and paste this URL in the Additional Boards Manager. Click OK. Then we go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager. And here we type Snap Arduino. You can find more information about Snap Arduino in this link. You install and now the installation has completed. We will now burn the bootloader into the ATtiny. You only need to do this one time. As mentioned, this bootloader is a small software that enables the serial communication with the Arduino IDE. First go to Tools, Arduino Nano and find the Snapduino. Board. Then select your COM board, COM7. Now it's very important, select the programmer, tools, programmer, it should be Arduino SISP. Make sure your ATtiny is connected correctly and then here press tools burn bootloader.
We're done burning the bootloader. So if you have several AT tinies, you can repeat this and burn the bootloader in all of them. Now you can connect your FTDI USB to serial to your AT tiny 85 as in this schematic. The LED is optional, it's only to test the famous Blink program later. After connecting everything together, we will now calibrate the bootloader. You only need to do this once. As mentioned before, the AT Tiny uses an internal RC oscillator, which is not accurate enough for the serial communication. The bootloader has a calibration function to solve this. So you connect the FTDI to the USB and you select the COM port. COM8. Now we start the serial monitor and make sure it starts at 9600 baud. And here you see, you're entering the tiny tuner. Now you enter an X and the calibration will start. You will need to enter X several times until the process is finished. So the calibration is finished, the bootloader is enabled and we can start using our AT Tiny 85. Now we are ready to upload the sketch to the AT Tiny 85. First, we have to go back to the serial programmer. For instance, the AVR ISP will work fine. Then we find in the examples the Blink sketch. Blink. I connected the LED to pin 7, which is digital output 2, so the LED built in, we all have to change to 2, and we upload the sketch. Uploading is done, and you also see that the LED is blinking. Now, even though that you use pins 5 and 6 for serial programming, you can actually still use them as I.O. without any problems. Just make sure that no issues happens in your application at startup, because the first seconds the bootloader will use them for RxDx communication. I hope this video was useful for you. Please let me know your experiences in the comments.